Fang glitch is probably Battlefront 2's most known and annoying glitch ever. You speak about it to anyone, they know exactly what it is. So in this video, I'm going to tell you literally every single detail you possibly ever need to know about Fang glitch. How to counter it, the details of it, the damage reduction, how much you get for some people, how much you don't get for some other people, how to figure out that someone has it, and at the end, I'm going to show you some extra stuff. So we have to understand what the Fang glitch is to begin with. So essentially, calling it Fing glitch is kind of too broad. I'd rather just call it infinite big deal, but let's keep it with Fing glitch. So the big deal ability, without any glitches, basically gives Finn and his teammates damage reduction, and then that varies, so it's generally 25% damage reduction, and it also gives them bonus health, but every time they take some damage, they also regain back the bonus health, which is really freaking good. And this ability also has a cooldown, so if your cooldown is 10 seconds, it'll cut it by half, so you'll have a, an ability that has a 5 second cooldown instead of 10. So it gives you an extra cooldown, bonus health, and damage reduction. And that is great. What Fing Glitch does, is it makes that infinite. But what also sucks about it is that Finn doesn't get that. So that's what Fing Glitch is. Now that you know what it is, I'm going to talk about Fing Glitch 2.0. Before I get into any other details, I'm going to talk about... So that's the 1.0 I just talked about. There's also a Fing Glitch 2.0. The only difference between 1.0 and 2.0... 1.0, Finn buffs everyone around him for an infinite number of time because that's the whole point of the glitch is that it never stops until Finn dies. But also, Finn doesn't have any of the abilities, so he gives everyone around him damage reduction, bonus health cooldown. Finn himself doesn't get anything. With Finn Glitch 2.0, he himself gets some of that abilities and more. He himself gets 55% damage reduction and also keeps the cooldown. However, he doesn't get a bonus health, but 55% damage reduction is way more than he gives to all of his teammates, so it kind of makes up for it. So now I'm going to talk about how you can actually figure out someone is using it against you, and that's something that I really want you guys to understand. So a lot of you will see someone using the fin buff on GA and automatically assume that they're fin glitching. Now I still do that assumption because the ability itself is so good that you're automatically going to think that they're fin glitching. But that's often not the case. So one thing you can look at, if you start hitting someone who has the fin buff, most of the time you'll see their health go back up, go back up, go back up. That's not a good enough indicator. You need to go see the fin himself. If the Finn himself doesn't have any damage reduction while the uh, teammates around him have it, if he doesn't have any damage reduction, if he doesn't have yellow health, then he probably is Finn glitching. Why? Because, like I said, Finn glitch buffs everyone around him but him. Now, I did say first look for the damage reduction and then you'll look for the yellow health, but be careful with the yellow health because maybe that's just an officer that's boosted him and it makes it look like he has Finn glitch, but it really isn't. So just really watch out for the damage reduction. That's key. But also, you could also assume that there's a lay near him that's giving him damage reduction. But generally speaking, the damage reduction is the one that's hardest to fake, you could say, <coughs> to make it look like you're fin glitching. And also, the second thing I would say, which is kind of a dead giveaway, but also isn't, if the buff, let's say he wasn't glitching, but if it's the buff is on for like five minutes straight, he's probably fin glitching because the buff is on for like 10 seconds. Now, there is a ability on. Uh, on one of his star cards where if you score headshots then the ability stays on for an extra 15 seconds which is a great card so you can basically have it for a super long time without glitching it's like they give it to you so just watch out for that but basically if you want to know if someone's actually glitching or not we'll go directly to the fin you're not going to be able to know definitely just by killing his teammates you might have a clue that he's doing it because the ability has lasted for a super long time but generally speaking if you just go directly to the fin he probably won't have any damage reduction or extra health, which is a dead giveaway that he's glitching. Now that's for Fin 1.0, Fin Glitch 2.0, it's very, very hard to tell, and that's why I personally love Fin Glitch 2.0, but there is some dead giveaways. <coughs> First of all, you're still going to have to go after the Fin. <coughs> Going after his teammates won't accomplish anything, they still have the yellow health and the damage reduction, but that would be the same if he didn't Fing Glitch, right? So you have to go directly to the Finn to figure out if he is actually Fing Glitching 1.0 or 2.0, but let's stick for 2.0 on this one. So to go, once you go up to him, you'll notice he doesn't have the yellow health. Fing Glitch 2.0 doesn't give you the yellow health. Maybe as soon as you activate it, because it's the first 10 seconds, but after a while, it doesn't give you yellow health. You'll have the damage reduction, but no yellow health. So that's why there's the confusion, because normal Finn buff, he still gets the yellow health and damage reduction. Fingers 2.0, he still gets the damage reduction, but not the yellow health. And to be fair, yellow health does go away if even after you get hit with the normal buff. So it's very, very, very 
difficult to tell with Finglish 2.0 versus a non-Finglish user. But here's how you know. Once you hit someone, let's say you're Darth Vader. Darth Vader normally deals 130 damage with nothing on. So not furious resilience on. You just hit someone with no abilities on. He does 130. Now you'll see on your screen it says 13 damaged. That's the score. That's how much you get points. When it says 13, add a zero to it, and that's that's actually how much damage you're dealing. So if it says 13 damage, that means you did 130. Now Finn, since he has 55%, call it 50. Normally you'd be dealing around 70, 75. So if <coughs> it only shows you seven, which is basically for 70 damage, <coughs> basically you know that he's fingerling 2.0 because he's taking way too many hits and he's not dying. With Finglitch, w uh, with n normal Finglitch, he would just take a hits like a normal person and he would just die because he doesn't have any damage reduction. And without the Finglitches, he would still be able to take some hits, but you'll see it's a major difference because typically he gets around 25 or even 15% damage reduction. Now we're talking about 55. You'll just automatically know that he's Finglitching 2.0 because he is just not dying. And every time you hit him, it's really not dealing that much damage. And that's how you can know. The second part. And this one is probably a lot easier and it's a lot safer instead of rushing in the middle of a map and figuring out, oh wait, he's finglitching and then I died. The second way is just try to keep an eye out of him. If you're playing, for example, with BB9 or any type of heroes that has an ability where you can see through walls, check. Because if you can kind of see him through walls with a damage reduction icon and it doesn't go away after 10 seconds, 15, 20, most likely finglishing 2.0. Now keep in mind, if there's a layer around him, it's probably harder to tell because she probably has the ability on. But if there's no layer and it's just troopers, and he still has damage reduction on, and he's not killing anybody, that basically tells you that he's finglishing 2.0. And then you get just pay attention to what I just said. Is he near Leia? If he's not, then there's no possible way he's getting damage reduction. Now commando troopers, any type of troopers or heroes that give him damage reduction, if he's not around them, that's a dead giveaway that he's not doing it. Now if he's not killing anyone that also confirms the theory that he's not he doesn't have that card on where you score headshots because he can't score headshots if there's nobody around him see what i mean like it, you piece this all together and it should tell you that okay this guy is definitely finishing 2.0 so that's the diff big difference between 2.0 1.0 1.0 he's doing he's glitching everyone but himself and he's pretty easy to kill and everybody knows about that one 2.0 you go up to him it's really hard to tell you might even consider that he's actually just buffing normally and maybe he's just really good at scoring headshots for all I know. So now that you know about these two counters, please pay attention and don't just say, oh this guy's automatically Finglitch and go out there and actually figure it out yourself. Finglitch 2.0 is going to be the hardest one to tell, that's why I've been paying so much more attention in this video about Finglitch 2.0 rather than 1.0. 1.0 as soon as you go up to him and he's buffing everyone but himself, you already know. 2.0 he's also kind of buffing himself so it's really hard to tell. Now I want to give some extra details about this. Now this section is just going to be kind of fun facts. I've already explained how you can tell if someone's finglitching 1.0 or 2.0 and I've already explained what these are, the differences. So now I'm just, the last part of the video, going to explain how much damage reduction he really gets. Because this is something I've never actually explained and the only other person who has in their video was Lukapook. So I'm going to do my own version of it. So basically, let's say you're by yourself, right? There's nobody around you, and you just fin buff, not finglish, just fin buff, because it would affect both. If you glitch, it's still the same result. If you don't, it's still the same result. So if you're just by yourself and you click the fin buff, you still get the health and cooldown and the damage reduction, but you only get 15% damage reduction if you're n only by yourself. If there's someone near you, it's still 15%. So if there's you plus somebody, it's 15% once you activate it. If there's a second person, so it's you plus two, so essentially three people, you get 25%. Now if there's three people near you, so basically kind of like an HREV lobby, there's three people near you plus you, that's 35%. And then if you have four teammates, it's 45% damage reduction, which is absolutely insane. So I'm just going to write it all on the screen because I don't want to get it confused for you guys by just speaking. It's a lot easier if I just show you a screenshot of the stats. But those are the stats. That's why if you see me play HEV or even GA a lot with Finn, you'll notice that I just keep re-clicking the ability. The reason why is the ability shows you how many people are around you if you do click it. Sometimes it'll show 7, 8, 5. Now if you click it when there's over 4 players, you're always going to have the cap uh, damage reduction which is 35 that's why sometimes you go against a team that's 
fin buffing or fin glitching and they only have like one one or two persons near them and they're still easy to kill it's because they didn't they don't know how to do it properly whether they, they don't know how to fin glitch properly or use fin properly because if you only activate the ability and there's like two people near you that's only like 25 percent damage reduction which isn't much compared to 35. now you put 35 and somebody has in previous like chewbacca that really stacks right and that's not even glitching at that point that's just finn being finn that's why finn is so good and it's hard to tell if he's glitching in the first place but you gotta pay attention to this if you want to be the best for your team whether you're fin glitching or not you have to reactivate the ability when there's a lot of people near you at least four if you want to maximize it at the best potential if there's four people near you or more reactivate it because then it resets to 35 now you're going to tell me well if i already have it on and there's two people near me and then five more people enter as the ability is still on that doesn't count so let's say you activated it and then there's two people near you great you have 25 percent damage reduction let's say five more people enter technically you should have 35 which is the cap it doesn't work that way you have to activate it when there's like four people near you you have to activate it when there's a bunch near you and then it counts but if there's a bunch of people near you and you activated it sure you have 35 but if those people leave the circle and you're by yourself you go from 35 to 15 even if they enter back again you still like that it's a little weird how it works but that's just how it works you're going to tell me oh well you're lying well just figure it out yourself I'm, i've already figured it out i'm telling you it i'm telling you how it works these are very keen details that i'm surprised not many of you know about but i do and luke Picoso has a video on it which i'm going to link i'm surprised a lot of you didn't see it Anyways, that's literally almost every detail that I can think of, at least major details that I can think of for fin glitching and everything about the fin buff. Now this is like a 10-15 minute video. I'm sorry if it's been long, but I've tried to minimize everything and speak as fast as I can with facts. So yes, this is literally the best fin glitch guide, I guess. I didn't make I didn't put any tutorials here because you guys already know how to do it. You guys already know how to fin glitch 1.0 and 2.0. I'm not telling you anything new you might actually have learned something new in here so personally if you're gonna keep playing with me and you're Finn just re glitch once when we're all together and just keep doing it over and over if we're all together and ha and you have Finn buff or Finn glitch don't activate it again because we already maximized it and if we're not together activate it again so we can optimize that now I want to see you guys do it because it's so annoying when I play with some of you and then you just don't reactivate it when we're all together because that means we're all like four of us together but we have 15% if you just reactivate it once we'll have 35 plus the cooldowns and everything that comes with fin buff or glitching so anyways I really hope you enjoyed this video it has like I had to put so many details into it it's all in front of me on my phone I hope I made this quick I know it's a pretty long video and I don't make these please share with anybody who doesn't know anything about fin glitching or how to determine it because some of you didn't know anything about it which is why this video was brought to me by hippo he told me you have to make a video about this the people here are retarded you have to make this video for a five-year-old I think I've done a good job at that even though some of you will still not understand which I'm very surprised I've tried to make this easy as I can but for the some of you who did I really hope this has helped you make a better fin and I hope it's helped your teammate become better fins for you. Anyways, Nigerian Prince out.